I would say the black people, they would just um, pretty much say that other people owed them money, but they didn't. Um, they would just went around and they would grab people. <clears throat> or they would um, basically do this thing where they would say, oh, I need help, I need help. And then they would um, basically, when if anyone went to help, like an Indian or anyone, uh, they would just grab them and then chain them up and basically kill them or chop off their their tube, you know, their male part, their, their male part. Anyway, they, they were rather vicious and rather psychotic, and they would use chemical gases and all kinds of stuff to basically kill off as many people. So basically everyone, if anyone even touched a black person or even looked at a black person wrong, they would basically kill 100, 100 white people just because. Anyway, but there was a lot of white people around, and there was only about a third of the black people, but they had all the guns. And pretty much this is like, a hundred and something years ago or four, 40,000 years ago when the black empire reigned supreme and you know, and, um, anyway though, um, you know, they blame me for everything, but you know, I had nothing to do with it. Like I said, um, realistically, you know, they, I had created the black race and basically put them into this, into, into existence. And then they had immediately enslaved everyone as soon as they came to any position of power. Um, you know, before that they were pretty nice and kind and even seemed to, to care about people, but realistically it was all just a lie and pretty much as soon as they had a position of power, they pretty much chained everyone down and whipped everyone really bad and then made it so people even thought about, you know, and it was basically they were just doing whatever they wanted, you know, and they thought that they would never lose power, lose control and that once in a position of power that they would stay there forever. And it didn't really work out for them, like I say. They blamed me, but, you know, I had nothing to do with anything. I wasn't their king, I wasn't their god, I wasn't their leader. And it was somebody else that, that was that was leading them. And, um, I mean, I'm loosely responsible for the, for, for, the, for the white people race or whatever, but not really. I mean, even that, you know, that's just people, you know, I mean, I had lots of other planets, and realistically, I mostly just ran exoskeletons and... And 1.5s and stuff, I really had very little to do with saving or protecting anyone at first. I just kind of, like, didn't really like it. And um, and realistically, I mean, I helped them out and gave them some technology. And the black people didn't want me to help anyone but them and not even them because they wanted to kill me. <laughs> anyway, there was one guy, you know, that basically, if you even said one wrong word to, would... Um, would basically, you know, go psycho and kill you and your family and everyone else, and then kill a thousand more just, just because. He was rather psychotic. Anyway, it's a couple hundred years ago or a couple thousand years ago. Anyway, I had nothing to do with anything, and and it was basically free will, and it was his choice to do what what he did. And people basically revolted against him and pretty much killed them or locked them up. Mostly killed them because you know the black people were, weren't really going to. Um, going to give it on any other choice you know if you even you know if you you know they they were basically like you better kill me and all this uh, and, and other stuff because as soon as they got free or got out they were going to kill a thousand white people and basically laugh about it and that's basically what they did and they did that for a couple hundred years and they had like the hoover dam project and everything else but they didn't really have the hoover dam project like they didn't start it that was actually started by the germans and somebody else and eventually you know the black people just went there in mass and pretty much took it over and then tried to starve everyone off and chained them all down and basically turned into a giant slave camp and basically production went my right, production was actually rather good at the hoover dam and it was a great big mine there's great big two two great big mines going either way from either side of the hoover dam if i remember right and um and basically, um, when the black people took over, they bought it or whatever, or just took it over by force, and then basically production was going pretty good, and they just basically plummeted down to zero. And the black people really didn't care. They turned, you know, it was a, a rather advanced um, production mining facility, and then, and then basically they chained everyone to the wall, and they really didn't care about how much got done. They just, you know, once they, once they had power, they just cared about, you know, a site where white people were stored or kept until they killed them. And they just used it as a giant slave site, really. Like I said, they did this around the world. And they did this with everyone, the Aztecs, the, the Germans, the Irish, everyone. You know, and that's, and that's how they got like a half world, world population or whatever, is they were just raping and killing everyone. 
And basically the world was pretty much static for about 500 years or something like that until people basically led this revolt and pretty much took them out. Anyway, black people were, were, were killing a thousand to one white people and then attacking basically relentlessly. Anyway, they didn't really work out for them. I think they met some exoskeletons or something like that. Anyway, I don't really understand what what really happened with them, really. I mean, I wasn't really around here for that, other than the fact that, that basically I was an inventor and I was inventing, and I invented for the black people, I invented for the white people, I invented for the world and for a couple other people. And so, you know, the black people tried to suppress everything and keep everything a secret, and it didn't really work out for them, like I say. You know. I don't know, like I, like I always said, I just tell, I, I just tell them like, a, like I see them and what, and like they were, you know, I'm pretty honest and open about it. And basically, uh, black people, you know, they did this whole thing where they seemed like they were good people and all that other stuff. And then, you know, it turned out they weren't and it was all a lie. And, um, and then they blamed, you know, well, they, they blamed everyone for everything anyway. But, you know, anyway, like I say, shrug, I don't really know. Other than, well, I mean, I understand what happened and everything, but I mean, it was free will and their choice. And they did some, they, they made some choices that, you know, caused a problem with the group and all that. Anyway, the, the Hoover Dam project was this giant open pit project coming from like year 1500 and all that. It's really, 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 really old. And they were using the, the, the what's it called, the, the hydro dam to basically supply power for the two mines and supplied a lot of power and eventually uh, I think it was DC power at first back in the day and then we converted it over eventually. Like I say there's a giant revolt around the planet and pretty much um, the black gods as you could say or the black leaders basically got killed by everyone else because um, the black people had been very merciless and very horrible and um, basically um, broke free. So, anyway, they were eventually going to kill everyone off anyway, so, but slowly. And they found this task a little harder than they thought it was going to be. The Chinese um, disagreed with that, so, anyway.